Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And um, what we've got here today for repair is my brand new Dell XPS 9500 laptop. I've had this laptop for maybe a month. Uh, so the problem is that the card reader in this laptop worked exactly once. Um, so when I plug this uh, SD card in, nothing happens. I bought this from the uh, Dell Business side of their website. So the great thing about buying them from that side as opposed to the home side is they come with the Dell Pro Support Warranty, um, which is a lot easier to work with. You get um, much faster support and generally people based in the US and great stuff like that. Um, so uh, one of the cool things about the Pro Support Warranty is you can opt into uh, just having them send you the parts. And so I opted to do that. I'll start by saying that when I was reading up on this and watching the reviews, one of the things that I noticed when some people did teardowns is that the card reader on this model is on a daughter board, on a separate board from the motherboard. Every other XPS, the other three I've owned, the card reader is built onto the motherboard, which means you know if the card reader malfunctions, you've got to replace the whole motherboard. So that's one of the one of the things that I really liked about this laptop uh, was that that card reader was on a separate boards. So uh, when I called them up, I explained the problem and what I had done to troubleshoot, and they agreed that there was a problem with the card reader. And I asked them to send me the daughter board for the card reader. And after a long pause, they looked it up and said, hey, we don't have or we don't show a daughter board for the card reader. It's on the motherboard. And so just a little back and forth, are you sure? Oh yeah, let me check with my manager, blah, blah, blah. And you know, they kept saying, no, it's on the motherboard. And I thought, well, you know, they're gonna know more than I will. Uh, maybe I just misunderstood. And so they shipped me a whole box of parts. So I got an, this packing slip from the original box they sent me, um, four items listed on here. Um, the box only had two items in it. So they sent the motherboard. Um, they sent a entire palm rest with a keyboard and everything. And then there was two other part numbers on here, which I tried to Google, but couldn't really find anything. Um, but the one that point, uh, stood out was this uh, H2HGT, uh, which is, looks like it says, looks like shorthand for daughter board audio, 5500, 9500. Well, you know, this machine, the um, audio jack is right there with the card reader. So I thought, okay, maybe they're calling it an, a daughter board for um, the audio jack. Um, so anyway, I called them up and I explained what was going on and that they had sent me the wrong, or there was no daughter board to be found in that box. And so they have now sent me a, another box of parts. The packing list only shows one line item now, and sure enough, it's the same part number of that uh, audio daughter board. And I will leave part numbers in the description below. Um, and so this looks a lot more like what we need. And so we're going to talk about how to replace this today in case anybody has the same misfortune that I do. So that's uh, the daughter board um, for uh, the 9500 for the card reader. You can see that there. And you may be saying, well, where's the audio jack? Well, get to that in a minute. Um, so this connector here uh, is what's going to connect it to the motherboard, which we'll show you here in a minute. All right, so the XPS 9500 has one plate on the bottom like most of the modern XPSs have had. And we've got a, I think these are T, yeah, these are T5. Uh, Torx uh, screws here. So we'll go ahead and back all those out here real quick. Now the first time you open, I've opened this up once to, after they sent me the wrong part to make sure I wasn't crazy. And the first time you open it up, it is kind of a bear to get off. The old XPS that I had, I think it was a 9560 or I forget which one it was. And it just lifted right off, and this one kind of clipped in a little bit. And the first time it comes, first time you pull it off, it is really tough to get out. So I'm just going to start it up here.
All right, so I've got this turned around with the battery at the bottom. While we're talking about the battery, let's go ahead and do the first thing we should always do and disconnect the battery. All right, got that disconnected. And so the, uh, the daughter board for the card reader is right over here. And um, you can see that's where that's going to go. And um, so where's the audio jack? You can kind of see the hole for it right here. Um, well, if you look closely, we've got some um, some contacts here, and it's really interesting to design. <laughs> Not sure why they did this, um, but here is the audio jack, and it's actually on the bottom cover. And so we've got little pogo pin style connectors in that when that bottom plate is screwed onto the chassis of the laptop, uh, it makes the connection. So that's where the audio jack is in relation to all of that. So, let's see what's going to be involved in pulling this out. It doesn't look like it's going to be too hard. Alright, so we need to get to this board, and it looks like the connector um, that goes between the motherboard and <coughs> this daughter board has a little plate to keep it in place. Um, so let's go ahead, it looks like just some small uh, Phillips screws. And there, that plate comes right off. So let's look at the original daughter board, and we can tell where that's going to sit. Um, and that tells us that the fan does look like it's going to have to come off uh, in order to get that daughter board out. So we've got a Phillips screw over here for the fan. And I'm not even going to bother unplugging it, I'm just going to lay it over. All right, so let's carefully pop off uh, this connector. And so that just lifts off like that. And got one screw. We really just have that one screw up here. So there is another bracket right here but it looks like it will slide out from under that, maybe. Yeah, so it slid out from under that little bracket just fine. And let's see if we can get this other one in here. So we'll put this one screw back in at the top. Go ahead and put our fan back. Pop this connector back down. And you can kind of feel it snap into place. And let's not forget our bracket. So I'm sure after these things have been out a little while longer that it'll be easier to find this card reader even on eBay. So it's nice to know that even after my warranty runs out and if I wear out a card reader, that it would be easy to replace. All right, and don't forget to plug the battery connector back in. All right, as you guys have probably guessed, the rest is just popping the cover back on, which I'm sure doesn't need much instruction. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel, and uh, keep an eye out for more repair videos like this.